This is Iron Man. He dies from gamma radiation for using the space stones to stop the villain and save the people of planet Earth. This is Batman. He allows himself to get unmasked and injected with a lethal dose of fear toxin in order to stop the villain and rescue the people of Gotham City. This is Goku. He sacrifices himself by holding Raditz in place as Piccolo fires a special beam cannon hitting both of them in order to save his son. Now, I understand that the writers of She-Hulk wanted the show to mature. They wanted the show to be for a modern audience, so clearly the pattern is going to be improved. As such, She-Hulk, at the end, spoke to the manager to make him change her story so she could win because it is her show. I'm not kidding, that actually happens. And the villain of the movie, the villain is actually the customer. It is the trolls we have made along the way.